How's it going everyone? Reckless you here and I finally have an opportunity to make a video for you guys so I thought I would seize this moment and share with you guys my temporary YouTube gaming setup that I'll be utilizing for the next two months as I make my transition from the great state of Hawaii out to the deserts of Arizona as I begin the next chapter of my life. And so because I am moving I packed up all my gaming equipment, all my consoles, all my audio gear and I'm left with what I'm seeing here in front of me which I'll share with you guys with the use of of my iPhone camera so it's not the best I do apologize but it's what I got so I hope you guys bear with me as we switch over to this camera right now now we're in reckless Yuki vision you're gonna see what I see as I make this video and in the front of me in the heart of the operation I have my 2012 MacBook Pro retina which is a really solidly built laptop I do enjoy it it hasn't failed me yet which it shouldn't because it's only like a little over a year old but uh, any electronic device could fail eventually, but I've had great success, great luck with Apple devices, even though they cost a ton of money compared to their Windows counterparts. But anyways, at the heart of the operation is a good quality laptop that can, uh, I guess, record, edit, render 1080p without any sort of issues. At least I have never had issues with this when rendering 1080p. Now the microphone that you're hearing me on, which is right in front of the camera right now, that's a Apogee mic 96k and it's kind of expensive especially for a USB mic way more expensive than a Blue Yeti but I think the quality of this mic is a little bit better I have to say I do enjoy it and I do like the compact feel of it now this is possibly about a third of the size of the Yeti so because of that I do enjoy having this mic for a portable setup now it's not the best solution for a portable setup but I did get this mic specifically because it can be used with an iPad so if for whatever reason I needed to only use my iPad to make a video to make some sort of a vlog I do have that option with this mic so that's why I picked this up now as far as what you were seeing me on earlier that's the webcam that I'm using. It's a Logitech C920. I think it's the best quality webcam you could get as of now. And uh, I mean, as far as webcams go, they're not that great. But if you do have to pick a webcam, I'd highly suggest that. And I think it's great for a portable setup because you could just throw it in your computer bag and it doesn't take very much space. So it is, I think it's ideal. And as you seen earlier, the quality of it isn't too horrendous it actually is able to provide a pretty good image now it's definitely nothing compared to a DSLR but I think it works just fine uh, until in the future when I'm able to get something else and so going over here to the right you're gonna see I have an iPad Air which I just picked up recently I picked this up to utilize for school so I can use it and be somewhat cool and futuristic and mobile as, as I try to do some you know on the go computing and right now I have <laughs> the Simpsons uh, tap out game or this uh, I forgot what this game is called but it's a Simpsons game and I'm probably gonna use this a lot for my gaming over the next two months because I have all my consoles basically packed up and going to be shipped out and as far as the games I have I've been playing a lot of Clash on Clans a lot of tapped out uh, Hearthstone not too much but I could share that with you guys as far as and also like a few other games that we could kind of go over and have some fun over the next two months as I try to do this whole portable tablet gaming thing now in order to capture the video from the iPad over to my Mac I have this little wire here that say this is like a cable jack wire that's able to fit into a iPad with a cable because the space here is very limited so I have this here so that it will be fed into this little dongle thing here which goes from the lightning to a HDMI cable let's try to focus on that a little bit so it goes from the dongle to the HDMI cable and that's like a video out and then I have this going over to my Elgato so the Elgato is very small portable and slim and it can be powered with a USB hub as long as the USB hub is powered and this is how I'm going to capture video from my iPad to get on my Mac to edit it in order to present it to you guys. And as you see here, I have this uh, Belkin USB 3.0 power dongle. You need a power dongle because uh, if you just try to get one that's powered off the bus, it's not going to power all the device. It's not going to power the webcam, the microphone, or definitely not the Elgato. So you have to get a uh, powered USB adapter, especially if you have a 
computer like mine where it only has two USB ports. And so this is one USB port. And on the other side, I have a G series external hard drive. It spins at 7,200 RPM. So it's just a regular hard drive, nothing too fancy, but it's just a one terabyte drive to be used as a basically a media dump because on my MacBook, it's only a 500 gig solid state drive. So solid state's really awesome, but it's kind of limited in space. And I did partition it, split it in half, and I put the um, OS operating system as well as the Windows 8.1 operating system on it. So I had the best of both worlds. And I guess also in the future, I can utilize XSplit on the Windows side and do some sort of PC gaming, but I don't really have a, I, I kind of packed up my little gaming mouse. So all I'm left with is this dumb little trackpad. So I'm not sure how well that's gonna work, but I guess we'll, we'll uh, give it a shot to see, I don't know how well I can do it. It'll be f maybe some fun videos, all right? So that is my current setup. I think it's possibly one of the better portable setups that you can do as far as trying to maintain quality as well as getting some uh, computing horsepower. And I'm gonna go switch back to the Logitech camera right now. So here we back with the Logitech camera. And I do apologize if my hand was a little bit shaky with my iPhone, but that's basically my setup and what I'll be doing for the next uh, two months. So hopefully it is bearable for you guys. Now I do plan on upgrading my equipment. This isn't what I'm trying to limit myself with for next two months. I did purchase a new camera, like kind of a DSLR, not really a true DSLR, but it's gonna be a mirrorless camera that takes phenomenal video, way better than my consumer grade camcorder. And I think it'll be really good and really improved. And as well as my mic, I don't really plan on using this mic. Really what I got this mic for was I was thinking of making videos completely with my iPad here, but after playing with the iPad, I deemed that the iPad isn't the greatest to make videos, and I'll show you guys why here in a second as I turn on this program. So, <laughs> oh, come on, turn on. So flip. And record. All right, so now, we're sh now I'm showing you video footage from my iPad. <laughs> I should probably take off from that. So like, this is my iPad. And as you see, like, it's not the greatest of quality. It's only 720p and I have to do it like this because I don't really want to try to guesstimate on the other side with a 1080p camera as far as what I'll look like. But this is kind of the quality of the iPad, which I think is less than my webcam. So this wasn't going to cut it. So I kind of purchased this Apogee mic in anticipation that I would be using this, but then I deemed that this wasn't the best way to go. So that's why I have this. So, but I am gonna be replacing this with a, I believe like a lavalier microphone going into a Zoom H1. So that'll provide a much clearer, better audio for you guys. And I won't also have a bunch of background noise or uh, within my apartment building right now, there is some issues I'm having because in the apartment next door, actually the both apartments, they are doing some renovations. So during the day, it gets really, really noisy with uh, people hammering and like sawing stuff up. And as well as during the night, I don't really have the best lighting. I just have this one lamp here. And so I'm not gonna be able to make videos at night because this webcam won't be able to do very well in low light. So it's just gonna be super grainy. The, vid the image is just gonna be absolute crap, but that's my temporary portable gaming rig. And so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, bear with me over the next two months as I try to make video for you guys. And hopefully in Arizona, I'll do maybe some sort of video show, showing you guys like a walkthrough, showing you guys like my new setup. I do plan on buying a new desk and kind of organizing so not everything's gonna be like a, a, a cable rat nest of a mess, all right? So uh, that's basically it. Hopefully you, enjoy, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys again in the next video, all right? Bye-bye.